My name is Hudson Simler and I'm 13 years old. I woke up one morning, I just couldn't hear out of my left ear. We started noticing that Hudson had hearing loss on one side and it progressed in him to having severe vertigo where he would have episodes of um, dizziness with nausea, um, sometimes headaches, sometimes vomiting. But I had no idea what it was, so I, I was very scared. After about three or four months um, and seeing many doctors at many different places, Hudson was finally diagnosed with Meniere's disease. It's fluid that builds up in the inner ear which causes the signals being sent to the balanced nerve to be like bad signals that tell the brain that everything's spinning when it's really not. In Hudson's case, he had had the Meniere's for over a year and he was having such severe episodes that were lasting um, 10 or 14 days, giving him only about two or three days off a month. It was really impacting his life. He wasn't able to go to school. We found a physician um, who does do a surgery for Meniere's disease. So they did a brain surgery. It was about a six and a half hour brain surgery where they went in and they severed his balanced nerve that fed the ear. Even though we were you know, confident with our decision to have surgery, it was very scary. Hard to see your child go through any kind of a surgery, much less a brain surgery, which you know is a pretty big one. He did fantastic and he was very brave and we all put on our brave faces and just got through it. He really couldn't even sit up, much less stand up, get up to the bathroom, um, anything like that. So we knew on discharge, we really needed to um, have some major physical therapy. And we were worried about where to go and who was gonna be the right physical therapist. And we did a lot of research and was so grateful once we heard about USC because they actually have a dizzy and balance disorder group in their physical therapy department. So it was exactly what Hudson needed. The first few times I went to physical therapy, couldn't really sit up. I had to be laying down in a wheelchair that reclined. His therapy is now treating the vestibular hypofunction that the surgery caused. Because the nerve was cut, he now does not get information from his left inner ear. The goal of his therapy was first was to tolerate any position other than lying down again was really getting him used to sitting up and walking and moving. Now it's in order to help him move quickly, be able to turn his head without feeling dizzy. The physical therapy I'm doing is basically just trying to regain my balance and get used to, get my brain recalibrated. I like that my therapist is really funny and she tries to like relate the things in a funny way so I'll do them. Working with Hudson has been really fun and it's been really rewarding to see the changes that can be done in such a small amount of time. Hurry up guys! It means so much to me that Hudson has come so far that he's out here being able to play. This is really the biggest part of what he missed when he was sick. I'll see on three, I'll see on me. One, two, three. I think it made me grow up more and be have a more mature look on life. Not to just take life for granted and try to do the most you can in a day.